Race number three then is a class four contest. We're over the 1400 meters for the third on the program. Headed by good shot David Hall and Zach Purton. Team up a number of times on the card in actual fact. Beating a mile, finished last on the all-weather, back to the turf on Sunday. Leading fortune, last start, uh, course and distance uh, winner, Neil Callan for John Size. Circuit has to run up on his last two starts. Uh, smart Wong Choi, third behind leading fortune. He's actually worse off at the weights this time round. Joyful Cheers has been last on his last two starts. Roman Impera blinkers off, seven pounds off his back as well off the inside gate. Smart Charade, fourth behind He's a Beauty. Not a clear run last time either. And Spicy Girl with the blinkers on for the first time. Dylan Moe will ride from Barrier 10. For Francis Loy, mighty power and win-win 33 mark are the two horses that have been up at Chungfra in the last month. A number of these, Andrew, like to get back and run on, so the pace, they'll need more good than slow with smart Wong Choi, as we've seen from him going forward. Circuit Hasler just can't get win number two. He's outside in good shot, mighty power, red Zolfany, joyful cheers. Spicy Grill and my winner, Paul, out there three wide with prime time and solar power at the tail. First one we're going to have a look at here is Circuit Hasler. He's a very fit horse, this one. He's uh, galloped a lot. He's been up backwards and forwards to Chung Fa. And uh, look, his work's been pretty solid all season. And he moves nicely once again here, does um, Circuit Hasler. Smart Charade, he's keen. Normally quite keen in the mornings with his work. You can see he's keen once again there. Uh, really wants to pull and get on with it. Joe Marrero will jump aboard as well on um, a race day. But uh, the horse goes nicely. He's another fit horse. And went up to Chung Fa to have a look here at Win Win 33. Still a maiden from his 17 starts. He's run a couple of good races. Uh, last one wasn't so good, but they've sent him back up to Chungpa, and as you can see, he seems nice and relaxed up there. All right, riding boy giving the, uh, the signal to someone as he went past um, as well. Let's start off with Good Shot Mark. Interesting horse here, because he was last when fancied on debut, then won at massive odds uh, here, nearly 51. His two runs since have been... Um, neither here nor there, really. They haven't, have they? This was his first start back in about uh, five or six months when he savaged the line well. He's jumped up in weight to 131 and 130 pounds since then. He goes to 133, Paul, but he does get Zach on board, so there is that respect factor there around him. Yeah, Zach has ridden him before earlier in his career as well, so he does know the horse. Look, I didn't find a spot for him. I was just a little bit worried about his form tapering off and the weight he has to carry. All right. So, uh, leading Fortune was the last start winner, trained by John Size. Neil Callan was in the saddle. We caught up with Neil, see if he can go back to back. Neil, leading Fortune, we spoke to you leading up to his last start win. What did you think of it? Yeah, it was a good win. Uh, like I'd said previous uh, before about his racing manners, he's, I think he's just still a young horse that's still learning. Um, he's doing, doing a few things wrong. He's, he's running around a bit uh, when he comes to win his races and you know, I think uh, the last time actually he, it was the best he jumped. So he seems to be learning slowly. Um, he jumps and travels quite easy. Um, he's got another good draw, which is important to have when you're going up in the weight. But um, look, you know, he kind of looms up like he's going to win uh, twice now. He's loomed up like he's going to win a couple of lengths with me and he's only just won. So look, if he can just kind of just get his act together a little bit the last 200, then uh, I don't see why he can't uh, have a chance to win again. Do you think he's the type of horse that when he does gain a bit more experience and learns a bit more, he will develop into a nice type? Yeah, for sure. Um, if you look at his pedigree, like on pedigree, he really, really wants to be stepping up in distance. But John's tried that and it didn't work. And I think it's because mentally the horse is just not ready. Um, he's got enough speed to be able to handle the 1400 and the speed of the race tends to suit him. So it's a plus that John thinks the horse can go to the races again before the end of the season. He's had two wins this season already, so yeah, I definitely think that he's got plenty more scope to improve, and uh, so I'll be going in there confident again that he can run a strong race. And a significant occasion earlier this week, Neil. Happy birthday. How many counters were on that cake? I didn't have a cake, Eddie. You're not allowed a cake when you're a jockey. <laughs> but uh, now, nah, look, uh, I'm 42. I feel good. I'm fit and strong, and uh, as long as I can continue to do that, age is no barrier. Good answer. All right, this leading fortune might give him a belated birthday present as well. We'll keep moving. Circuit Hassler, um, a must for exotics, I suppose, uh, Mark, but he's only won once from 49 starts here in Hong Kong so far. And that's why, Andrew, you just can't tip him on top. He's gone two cracking races at his last two starts behind Armour Star and He's a Beauty, but the stat, Andrew pointed out, Paul, it's there, 49 starts, one win. He's run a stack of placings. He's drawn wide, but he's tough. Yeah, he's definitely tough, and uh, look, he, he enjoys his racing, doesn't he? This will be his 13th start this season. Uh, look, he, he just faded a little bit. He's a beauty, ran away from him, but I think he's a beauty's a big chance later on.
Yeah, and uh, my winner and um, Smart Charade, both good runs in behind there as well. Now, win-win 33, we saw him in, uh, in track work there, Paul. Here he is still at Chung Fa, but uh, trialling on this morning. Yeah, and a nice trial here. Look, he's a 17-start maiden. I don't know where he fits in. It, like, he's by showcasing, so the all-weather should be uh, pretty good for him, and he's never raced on it before. But you can see he trials really well on it. Uh, he's drawn a little bit awkward in nine. I didn't find a spot for him in the end uh, there, Mark. No, neither did I, Paul. He's just a maiden circuit hasler. He goes good races. He just can't get that win. He always trials well when he goes up to Chung Fa too. He's had three trials up there for three wins, so it might be a bit of an anomaly in his form. All right, so quite an open race by the looks of it. The circuit hassler is our favourite at this stage, Paul. Yeah, he's come up quite short. Look, I'm going to go with the last start. When have we heard from Neil Callum there, leading fortune? I think the horse is improving all the time. John Sizer's horses are coming really right here towards the end of the season. I think he can win this race. Smart Wong Choi coming out of the same race. I think it's quite a strong form race, that. I've got him in there for second. My winner's Honest. He's always running on. And Solar Power, there's something about this horse. Now, he always misses the start. Um, once he gets his act together, uh, he's going to be a nice horse, this one, at ISG. So I just didn't want to, I just want to keep him safe there and for fourth. Two, six, seven, and five. Hoping the speed is really hot. Joe needs a stack of winners at this meeting to try and give Zach a scare. It would be a miracle. But Smart Charade's been running on over the same distance, 1,400. Ideally, he might like a mile. 12 goes on top to beat number three, Circuit Hasler. Two leading fortunes racing. Wells been loving 1,400 metres. He goes up uh, eight pounds in weight. And in the end, I put him in win-win 33 for fourth because he's, as I said, a maiden Circuit Hasler. 12, 3, 2 and 13. Well, this race would be a good first leg of the triple tree. I think it's pretty open. I've got my winner, wide draw, but he'll go back anyway. And you get an each-way price about him in the third.